In the past couple of training videos, we learned about the Track Changes feature, that when you turn it on for a document, like if I do it for my original poem here, poem A, it'll keep track of any changes that anybody makes to the document in a color of my choice. But what if I forgot to turn that feature on, and I want to keep track and view the changes that somebody else makes to it? So if I send it off to somebody, and they send it back to me and forgot to turn it on before they made changes to it, well, I got some options here. When they send it back to you, if it's got the same name, you don't want to save it over the original unless, of course, you're okay with that. But what I did is I saved it as a copy and called it Poem B. So I have my original and I have the revised version. So let's go ahead and open up the original, double click. And then to open up the revised, come up here on the Quick Access Toolbar. I added the open command to it, so click on Open. Opens up the open window. And we're on the desktop. In the main view on the desktop is Poem B, the revised, double click. And there you go. Now you can see down below on the taskbar, I've got a button for the corresponding window that I have open. So I'm in Poem B. Let's go back to Poem A. And the title, There's No Other Way. Go back to Poem B. There's No Way. Okay, that was pretty obvious. But uh, you can imagine going back and forth between the two. That can be annoying. You could also come up here and click on the View tab. Go to the Window Group and click on Arrange All. In which case, it arranges all the windows that are open. And I just have two, so they're stacked. And you can see between the two, there's no way, and there's no other way. And if you need more room, well, you can go ahead and double-click on the tabs to collapse the ribbon. There we go. Lightning breaks across the sky. Lightning streaks across the sky. So for the original, it was streaks. And for poem B, the revised, it's breaks. Now, that's still annoying. So instead, how about if we use the compare feature? It's just so tinsel. Let's go ahead and close out of the revised and maximize the original, and, well, let's bring up the ribbon again, double-click really fast, so now it's permanent. And to go ahead and compare between the two documents, let's come up here, click on the Review tab, go to the Compare group, and there you go, click on Compare. Now you get two options, you can compare and combine. They're both comparing, but the difference between the two is that for comparing, look at the image, it's just between two documents, the original and the revised. We're combining, there's the original, you can actually compare with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, well, as many versions of the original that you want to combine into it to compare with the original. And we'll talk about that in the next training video. But it brings up a good point. When it comes to using either one or the other, you want to make sure that they're not just any two documents, which makes sense, because if you have one document on recipes and another document on construction, what's the point in comparing between the two? So more to the point, when you want to use these features, well, go ahead and send off your original, and when they get it and they make changes to it, whoever that person is, and they send it back, then go ahead and save it as a copy of the original, you know, with a different name, like the example, poem A is my original and poem B is the copy of it, and then you can go ahead and use the compare between the two, and we'll cover combine in the next training video when it's more than two. Let's go ahead and click on compare, opens up the compare documents window, and it says, okay, where's your original and where's the revised? I know we have the original open, but it still wants it tagged here, so click on the drop-down arrow, and you can browse for it, or if it's a document that you opened up recently, you can go ahead and search for it. Well, I got different copies of it. It would be just easier for me if I, instead of scrolling down through here, click on Browse there. Opens up the open window, or of course you can click on the Browse Folder button. Opens up the same window, and there's Poem A, or Poem. Double-click. The original, then the revised. Let's go ahead and click on the Browse button to Poem B. Cool. And then when it comes to changes, how do you want to label them? Well, if I sent the original Poem A off to Carrie, and she sent it back to me, and I saved it as the copy, well, with the name Poem B, so I don't overwrite the original, and Carrie made the changes, then I want to put in her name and not mine, right? So I can label those changes under her name. Because unlike the Track Changes feature, when that's turned on, it tags her username to any changes that she makes, but because it's not turned on, then how do you know, or how do you want to keep track of those changes that were made? Well, by typing in the name of the person who sent a copy of the original back to you for me to go ahead and tag here so I can remember that when it comes to comparing, that the changes were made by Carrie. Now, after you go ahead and find your original and your revised, and you're like, wait a second, those ought to be switched. If for some reason they need to be switched, go ahead and click on the switch button, so Poem B is the original and A is the revised, but I want to switch them back. Cool. Let's go ahead and click on More to see what other options we get. When it comes to comparing, 
You can compare moves, comments, formatting. Well, you can leave them all checked. Or if it's just for one type of comparison, like you know tables. If you have a couple of tables that you send it off, somebody makes changes to some of them, well, you can just go ahead and compare those if that's the only thing that matters to you. I'm going to go ahead and leave all of them checked. And then when it comes to the Show Changes section, you can show the changes at the character level, but I want to keep it simple. We'll leave it at the word level. And you can show those changes. Well, the default's a new document, or you can show them in the original or the revised, but I'd like to keep those intact and not overwrite accidentally the original or the revised. So let's do a new document and click Okie dokie. Hey, there we go. You can see up here on the title bar, it's document one. So it's got the original open, but now it's got the comparing between the two here. Now, if you can't see the markups in the new compared window, well, as you recall in the track changes training video, you can come up here to the tracking group, and right now it's simple markup, and you got these lines over here that represent changes made to, well, that line, changes made to that line, changes made to that line. So if you want to see them, you can come up here and click on all markup, or just come over here and click on any one of these red lines here to show those changes, and it shows all the changes or all the markups as you can see up here. So then you can go ahead and go through what we did in the accept reject changes training video, which is up here in the changes group, to go from one change to the next. So to go to the first change, the cursor's right there. Let me click next. And when I hover over it, who made the change? It's Carrie. How does it know that? Well, remember, I had to type in her name so I can identify that it was her that sent me the copy back and the changes that she made to it. And so she deleted other way and inserted way. So if I don't like other way deleted, then I can go ahead and reject that. And it goes to the insertion saying, do you want to keep that? And I can reject that. Then it goes to the next change. In any case, you can go ahead and watch that training video to get more details about accepting and rejecting. But you can also bring up the reviewing pane if you want to do it that way and not use the changes group. So go ahead and click on that and you can view it vertically or horizontally. If we do it vertically, well, it's vertical over here as opposed to horizontal down at the bottom. And here are the remaining changes. So she deleted streaks and added breaks. So if I come over here and I say, well, I don't like breaks, I like break. If I go ahead and delete the S, well, you can see that over here it deletes it there as well. Cool. So you can go ahead and revise her revisions here. And then, of course, go ahead and accept or reject them. And then say OK. Let's click back before it, or you can leave it after and then just go to previous and say break. OK, I made the change. Just a minor tweak. Instead of rejecting the whole thing, just a simple removing a letter here and saying let's accept it. OK, then we have to go back up and get rid of streaks. So let's go ahead and click Next Change. And accept the deletion, lightning break across the sky. OK, breaks, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to accomplish here, that when you want to revise the revisions and add some extra text or make a few changes here, well, there you go, you can do that. And then if you want to be able to view the original and the revised at the same time, you're viewing the main document here, the comparison between the two, you can come up here and click on Compare and go to the Show Source Documents. So you can look at the original. There we go. So there's Compare, there's Original. And so the original is Lightning Streaks as opposed to Lightning Break. And then if you want to see, well, click on the drop down arrow. Also the revised or both, how about that? There we go, original and the revised. And then when you're done with any one of them, of course, you can go ahead and close out of them and always bring them back on the fly with a click. And when I'm done, I can come up here and click on Save. It forces a Save As because, I mean, who wants the generic name? Compare Result 1. And we can say it's the best of, let's see, Poem A and B. And then go ahead and click Save. Cool. Close out. And let me close out of poem A. And there we go. There's my original. There's the revise that Carrie sent me. And here's the marriage of the two where I said, hey, I like some of my stuff. I like some of yours. And so that way, if I ever want to go back to the original or I want to go to the revised again because I'm like, wait a second, I think I like what she did before. And well, there you go. 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.